Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Unplugged and Uncut, the number one source for sports news and entertainment. You are live with your boy, Unique. I want to thank everybody for tuning in and sticking with us. As we are here to talk about the Miami Heat, Phoenix Suns, and San Antonio Spurs proposed trade. We're going to give you the parts involved and then give you our grades for each team if this trade was to go down. Before I get started though, if you haven't taken the time to hit that subscribe button, make sure you do. We are giving away a ton of prizes here at Cloud Eye Radio. And all you gotta do to be entered to win is be a part of the community, be an active subscriber, and leave comments in the comment section. But without further ado, let's get into this trade proposal between the San Antonio Spurs, Miami Heat, and Phoenix Suns. The first team listed in the trade was the Miami Heat, and we are gonna see the Miami Heat receive Jay Crowder. The Suns would receive Josh Richardson, and Max Struss, or Struess, and the Spurs would receive Nikola Jovic, Duncan Robinson, Phoenix's 2023 first round top five protected pick. Now let's get into the individual teams and give them a grade. For the Miami Heat, I would give this trade a B plus or a A. Jay Crowder is an upgrade and a playoff tested vet. He could come in, knock down big time shots and play defense. He can guard multiple positions and he has that experience that the Miami Heat like and love. Also, you're getting off of a horrible contract in Duncan Robinson. Taking that off the books is excellent for Miami so they can continue to build their team in next season as well and beyond. So you definitely got to feel good if you're a Heat fan coming off of Duncan Robinson's contract and then picking up a player that could possibly help you and has that veteran experience. For the Phoenix Suns, I would give this grade somewhere of a B, maybe a B minus. This could be somewhat of an overpay for Josh Richardson, Max Struss. However, Jay Rich is a 40% three-point shooter. He's going to bring really good wing defense, and he's scoring over 10, 12 points a game. So that could be useful, especially when you're heading into the playoffs for the Suns, having an extra player that could come in and get buckets and play some defense. Now, you can have Jay Rich coming off the bench most of the season as a sixth man for the rest of the season or in spots where he needs to start for a player that needs a break. He can do that as well. He can play on or off the ball, and he's actually a three-level scorer. He can get to the rack, hit the mid-range, and is deadly from three, shooting over 40%. Now, Max Struss is just a throw-in and a bench player for the Phoenix Suns at this point due to their lineup, but he's not a bad player, and he's a solid player that you could place on your bench. So that's why I give this grade like a B somewhere around there for the Suns. Now for the Spurs, I would actually give this the lowest grade. The Spurs would get somewhere from a C- minus to a B-. minus. The extra first round pick is nice, especially in a deep 2023 draft class. And getting Nikola Jovic is a very interesting prospect that the Spurs were actually scouting. However, how many rookies do you want coming up at the same time? That's right, you already got to worry about Jeremy Sohan, Malachi Brannon, and Blake Wesley's contract coming up on the same time. And Nikola Jovic is a fourth player you'd have to be worried about signing when that time comes. Now that it is three or four years down the road or two or three years down the road, but in theory, you want to spread those rookies out just a little bit so they're not all re-signing at the same time. So that's why I'm a little bit down on this trade. Also, Nikola Jovic playing on the wing from small forward to power forward. Those positions are pretty locked up for the Spurs with Keldon Johnson and Jeremy Sohan. So we'd have to see how that would fit. And then the last part of this trade that makes that C minus guys is Duncan Robinson's $75 million contract through 2026. Ouch. <laughs> There's no way to say it, but this is just a very bad contract for any team. For a player who's considered a three-point specialist, and it's hard to keep on the court due to his defensive liabilities. Now, the Spurs have a Doug McBuckets type player already, but to me, Doug McBuckets is a little bit better of a player than Duncan Robinson. He's not just a three-point shooter. He moves well without the ball, and he's going to cut to the basket and get a lot of two-pointers as well. And he, he's not a good defender, but he is serviceable on defense at times. So I think Dun Duncan Robinson is a downgraded form of Doug McBuckets. And to me, that 75 million contract just makes this trade not so good for the Spurs. It's not bad, it's just not the best trade they can go after. So Spur fans, Suns fans, Heat fans, do y'all agree with the trade grades that we would give for each team? Or do you have a different grade? Now, I didn't try to adapt or adjust the trade. This is just the proposed trade that we saw online and grading that. 
So let me know your feelings in the comments and I can't wait to hear those. Thank you for tuning in and your boy is out. Peace.